Hey everybody, um, welcome back to the channel here. Uh, today's video is probably going to be pretty short. Uh, it's actually probably a little bit more of an extension of the last video that we did on the, the emotional behavioral changes, um, the post-stroke depression more specifically. Um, I mentioned at the kind of towards the end of the video that there was some, some professional help that you might be able to get if, if you were struggling um, even more with uh, that sadness and hopelessness and uh, agitation and things like that and one of the professionals that uh, will help you with that is a neuropsychologist um, and I decided just to throw this this on the channel just because I thought it was worth uh, just giving it a little snippet about um, because this might be somebody that you encounter uh, while you're recovering so neuropsychology is the study of the brain behavior relationships um, and they do a lot of testing um, usually done at bedside in the hospital um, but basically folks are referred to um, these professionals for issues um, like depression, but also for things like short-term memory and uh, issues dealing with finances, um, specifically like issues with you managing your money, not not paying for your stay or such things like that. But um, multitude of reasons that you would you would be um, sent to a neuropsychologist. But with the depression uh, is one of them, and uh, what they do is they test for for weaknesses and areas of your cognition or your ability to think. Uh, these areas are attention, um, memory, your visual spatial uh, abilities, um, your impulsivity, how agitated you are, how aggressive you are, and that can be both physically and um, verbally. Uh, how much difficulty you're having with sleeping and eating, well, which are also uh, can be signs of the depression as well. And then also the delirium, so how how um, with it you are is sort of the the way that I guess some people put it. So basically, how uh, alert and oriented you are to the situation, to yourself, to where you are in your in your in your life. So uh, they deal with all of those things. Um, they also deal with executive functioning, which is sort of the highest level of, of cognition that we have, and and that's sort of. Um, our ability to, to think through things and make judgments and decisions and um, think at that high level that sort of separates us from from other types of species and things in the world. Um, so those are just basic things that a neuropsychologist will go through, but I just wanted to point it out that you will likely encounter somebody like this if you have a stroke and, and deal with that depression because uh, they deal with many of the things that the depression deals with, like the eating and the sleeping, the agitation. Um, so I just wanted to point that out and uh, I will leave it there and I hope you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you later.